in a minister's office. Until last month, Brittany Higgins was a young staffer in the Morrison government, joining then Defence Industry Minister Senator Linda Reynolds just weeks before the 2019 election. Higgins has now alleged to news.com.au Samantha Maiden that just weeks after starting work for the minister, she was raped on the couch in the minister's Parliament House office by a fellow staffer after an alcohol fueled social occasion with colleagues. What did you say to him? I told him to stop. Did he? No. Higgins reported the matter to police at the time, but she decided then not to make a formal complaint, meaning the matter has yet to be pursued by the police. There is considerable evidence of Higgins and the man alleged to have assaulted her arriving at Parliament House and going to the minister's office. ACT police told 7.30 they have spoken to the Department of Parliamentary Services who have secured the CCTV footage. The police said Parliament would share the footage at our request if Miss Higgins decides to proceed with a formal investigation. The tapes have been viewed by the National Office of the AFP, but only in relation to the security breach, not the alleged assault. Higgins was allegedly found by security staff still on the couch in the Minister's office in a state of undress. They had responded to the fact the man involved had been seen on CCTV leaving the office, but without the young woman in the cocktail dress that he'd signed into the building. Continues. The story itself is shocking enough. It has left a young woman traumatised. But the question is how the government and the political system deals with such a disturbing episode. The reason Brittany Higgins says she did not proceed with a complaint was because she felt it would end her career. And more disturbingly, she says she was made to feel that this was what would happen. That was the really clarifying moment for me where I fully sort of internalised that this is a political issue, my job is in, on the line for this, I don't really have a choice. My first and only concern was then and remains her welfare, including her right to understand all of her options and for those to be presented to her, which they were. She did continue after this incident in my employ and then moved to Senator Cash's office uh, for the preceding two years. The issue is unlikely to go away this time around. Brittany Higgins, who is now out of a job after resigning last month, has told 7.30 that, now confident that her complaint cannot be covered up, she intends to now make formal complaints to both the Department of Finance and the police about the assault.